All right, Mike. Um, here's the thing, too, uh, as we talked about this Lamar situation, and it's still – there's a buzz. It is what it is. We're going to figure it out. And I say we as in teams will say one thing. We'll, we'll find out who's interested and who's not. But, Mike, I don't know how any Falcon fan, any Falcon fan, could say out loud that Desmond Ritter is better than Lamar Jackson and be taken seriously. I don't know how any Falcon fan who is against the idea of us even just approaching this could look themselves in the mirror and say, yeah, I mean, we got Des. How can you say that to yourselves and be serious? I'm with you. And I had this conversation today at the gym. And had it yesterday at the gym while we were talking about this. And I've got two guys that I work out all the time. One guy's uh, 8 PD, one guy's retired fire department guy here in the A. And both guys are Falcon season ticket holders. And one guy was all in for Lamar, and one guy was all in for Ritter. And, and the argument being that, you know, everything we said yesterday about Lamar, it makes this thing more exciting. We get juice. But then, you know, are you going to be able to depend on him to stay healthy? And will you be, you'll basically have to be perfect in everything you do in the draft and free agency because you're going to have no wiggle room because all of a sudden your cap space goes, you know. But the Ritter thing is, and he agreed, we wanted more of a sample size. I like Ritter. Ritter has more experience than a lot of guys that you, you've talked about in the draft. I mean, certainly more than Anthony Richardson. He played, played nearly 50 games in college and at a high level at Cincinnati. But I just even – and I like the guy, but I didn't get enough to say. And there's no way you could ever in a million years say he could compare to Lamar Jackson. You can't. You can't. You, I can't take you seriously if you walk up to me and go, well, we got Ritter. I, I can't. I'm sorry. Atlanta, I, I'm not buying that. There's that, This is a conversation that we have to have because right. if you can upgrade, you upgrade. If you can get a, a better seat on an airline, you get a better seat. If you can get a better player, you go get a better player. It's no disrespect to where that young player is in his career or what he may ultimately be. But right now, this is no – it's not even close. There's no comparison. And I just – I'm hearing people act as if, like, Ritter's a Super Bowl champion, and he's like, well, we've got Ritter. I, I can't take you guys seriously. Right. I just think that uh, there, there is two things, two schools of thought. Uh, you do realize that we've got all this cap space, and I, I know everybody expects a big home run. It's just the, the the damn contract is so scary. And if this was three years ago, that's the thing. I mean, I look, I, I there's a part of me that loves it. There's a part of me that would be fearful of if he can't get if he comes in here and he misses ten games in the first two years, then that's 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 not helping us. And then you're gonna see Tesman Ritter, so I guess it's good to keep him around. <laughs> but I mean, if this contract if if, if the, it's again, time machine, can't don't have one. If the Deshaun Watson thing hadn't happened, we could very much very easily be in this mix and I'd have no problem with it. But I think people are so scared by the money. I do think you're right, Mike. Um, and, and what's funny is, this is what's funny. Mike and I always say this. That's your money. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, right. it, realistically, like, we all get, like, you're going in your bank account. Here's the deal, guys. When you start talking about the total value of these contracts, it's Dukes and Bell at Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Um, the numbers are staggering, okay? And I'm not going to give them to you all. I'm just going to give you the top guys. Josh Allen's total value of his contract, Mike, is $258 million. It sounds overwhelming. It doesn't mean he's getting all of that. He's getting 43 a year, but his total value of his contract, Deshaun Watson is 230. He's getting 46 a year. Kyler Murray's getting hmm. 230, the total value of his contract. When you hear these numbers, you go, damn. I don't know if we can do that. But, guys, this is what's going on all around the NFL. Russell Wilson's total value of his contract is $245 million. He's getting 49 per. And we're sitting here going, well, I don't know. This is where the league is. And, Mike, I have to ask you this because a buddy asked me this last night. He heard us talking about it. He said, man, I love you, you guys on the radio. And I just got to ask you guys, I don't have any thoughts on Lamar. But are you guys willing to tell me that the Bengals are not going to pay Joe Burrow this kind of money? Well, that's just it. Well, my concern was because Lamar was, again, these are from published reports. So you're just going on what's been out there in the ether, that Lamar was obsessed with the kind of money that Deshaun Watson got and the structure of Deshaun Watson deal. So what happens if, you know, two years down the road, somebody else resets the market and he pulls a Julio Jones on us? Arthur, <laughs> Arthur Blank, for those who don't remember, Arthur Blank made Julio the highest paid wide receiver in the league. And then two years later, it wasn't good enough. So that's that's the only concern. And again, I hope that's not what motivates the guy. On the flip side, I would love to see Lamar maybe come off of some of these demands so we can go ball out in a city that would absolutely embrace him and go bananas because there's so many similarities to Baltimore and Atlanta, African-American fan base, everything else. The fans want something that's exciting, and he can stick it to the Ravens. But that's the thing. It's just To see every NFL team that needs a quarterback come out and go, we do not need a quarterback. It's like the... <laughs> Just talking to Randy McMichael. I mean, I mean, it's like collusion unless everybody turned into like invasion of the body snatchers, right? 
Yeah, it is. It's bizarre. Uh, I don't believe any of this, by the way. Okay, I'm on the record. I, I, I don't believe that all of these teams are not interested. Now, I do think there are some, and, and I do think some are being legitimate. But I also think they're getting ahead of this by saying we're not interested, just like so many teams like the Cleveland Browns did last year with Deshaun Watson. 